This is an early 2000s Discovery Channel Store wireless indoor-outdoor weather station. This was absolutely state-of-the-art when it came out. Okay, Sonor. I got my camera all set up and now I bronk my own. Oh, uh, you want me to use this to record your character video? It's clearly state of the art. Anyways, here is the wireless thing. It's upside down now. There we are. I had it right. Discovery Channel, as you see there. I guess that's where it senses it. You can mount it on the wall. Screws to cover the battery compartment. Interesting. Power adapter. Let's see if that'll focus. 4.5 volts DC. So a USB candidate, but it does work. At least the power adapter does. Here's the weather station. This comes out of the base. Barrel jack connector in there. We'll take a look at this first. Can be wall mounted, just like that. You can put batteries in it. I don't know if I can open it with one hand. We'll see. Yep, three batteries, wall mountable like I said. If I recall, this will actually work on battery power. And there are three buttons to set the time zone and a mode thing and all that. And on the bottom is that barrel jack connector. The base has the plug of the adapter in there. And check this out. Just like that, and you can push that out, and that's it. I had bought this in the early 2000s from the Discovery Channel store, and this was, like I said, it was state-of-the-art because... Oh, and it also has a, a thing here. You can press the button and turn it to make it do other stuff. Here's this. It's the WeatherTech TX4000C. Like I said, it was state-of-the-art, so it had a color display. Wow! Oh, this was awesome! And just to show how old, the logo has yellowed. That's like the internalness of it has yellowed, because it's one of those like rubbery stickers or something. I think the base says something. Well, let's see if this says anything. Uh, I don't know if any of that is readable. I'm just going to stop down and take a look, see if there's anything interesting to show you. It says the same thing on the unit itself. Copyright 2005, so there's the date. So now that we know that, there's everything there. And then this just fits in like that. Somehow, probably don't have it quite right. There it is. And then you plug it in, or if you had batteries in it. And I'm going to go ahead and put batteries in this thing. Let's open it up, see. I think it takes double A's. Yep, two double A's, so that proves it's old. <laughs> and um, I'll put some batteries in there. And before we get this powered up, does anybody remember the Discovery Channel store? I I'm imagining they've all since closed. But they were around back when I bought this thing, and I bought it just because it was the it, it was the fucking eye candy, the, the color display. It was like, wow, man, it was awesome. And you're gonna see how bad <laughs> this thing actually is. But uh, yeah, I think they've all since closed. So I want to put the camera on the tripod and set this up because you you gotta. You, you just got to see this. All right. Check this out. Wait, what? Let me shut the room lights out. Wait, what? Yeah, it's that bad. Got to be at the right angle. It does show 
the temperature and humidity it says indoor at the top and you can set <laughs> there it is <laughs> you can set the time zone and the time and the date <laughs> the backlight on this thing is probably LED. I couldn't imagine it would be incandescent. And just like all the blue and white LEDs from back in the day, they're just so dim, they're useless. Uh, I forget if I press that. Yeah, oh wait, yeah, outdoor. The humidity is reading a little different. You probably can't make that out, but it says 62. The indoor, 65. Temperature, 73. I want to just leave this for a bit. What I did is I put that wireless sensor in the fridge right here just to see if it'll go down at all. So let me leave it for a couple of minutes and I'll come back. It actually worked. I don't know if you can even see that. There it is. 57, 54, 75 indoor, and 56. So that worked. Let's see if I could set the time and all that. I was actually able to set the time and date. And it did take 2022 as a year started at 04. I think if you rotate the thing on top, it switches time zones. Let's see. It did. Let's see if it does anything else. Oh yeah, it does. Okay, I thought there were different time zones, but you can see like the The legends change. It barely works anymore. I mean, the whole thing... Come on. What? What is this? You can't read it no more. Shall we have a look inside? Just for fun? Okay, you talked me into it. There is a lot going on inside this unit. A lot of circuitry that today just wouldn't be there. Wow. So looking through my scope thing here, there's a circuit board back here, which I think, well, I'm not sure now. What did that say? Interesting. <laughs> This might possibly, this is the back of it, battery compartment here, all kinds of wires, a little circuit board for the jack, that's interesting. There's a little transducer to beep. I don't know if that's a capacitor or a sensor. That's a capacitor, so that must be a sensor for something. It looks like that's the temperature sensor these connections are just horrible looking there's some glue oh my oh it ripped the wire off wow this this is just so bad i don't i wonder if it'll work anymore <laughs> Even the solder job, there's so much, like, flux and crap all over this thing. It's terrible. It is just terrible. There's more glue that's hard as a rock. Look at this. An epoxy blob, another one. And the display on this thing was, it got hard to read after like a year. That's like all it took for that backlight to quit. And I'm not even going to bother 
taking out the board here to see, especially since this wire came off. It looks like it was connected to something and just glued there. I, what, how do you, what, how do you produce this? This is ridiculous. I mean, look at that. I can't even believe it even worked. The question I have is, will it work at all now? That would be an interesting thing. Can I get the plug out, or do I have to put it in the thing? Oh, boy, come on. No, oh, it's coming. There he goes. Because this thing is pretty useless with its display. Okay, it's plugged in. Yeah, it still seems to work. Outdoor it hasn't gotten yet. So, who only knows? Look at the crap here. <laughs> I'd be curious to see if it actually will pick up the outdoor sensor again. But man... This, this is so bad. <laughs> it is, it is absolute, like, I can't. It may not even get the wireless signal from the thing being in the fridge. Like, it, it, you know, it picks it up initially in that, or it may just take time. I don't know. So, let me just stop down and see if it will actually ultimately read that anymore, or if it just doesn't. It really looks like this little gadget over here is the temperature sensor or humidity sensor because it has slots in it. Still no outdoor, so that's good. Yeah, just the indoor. So I'll get that sensor, and I'll see if that'll come back just for fun. Yeah, it did read the outdoor. There. There. Indoor, outdoor. So it still works with that wire pulled off of whatever it is. Okay. <laughs> it's just, you just have to laugh. This was the, this, this was the hottest shit when it came out. Color LCD screen, come on, nobody had this yet. I mean, we had them on laptops, but in a thing like this, it was black and white all the way. In fact, I got one here, right here. This came with a grow light. I think I'm actually going to use it. it. I mean, it worked, so. But um, it's, you know, black and white, it's just fine. It's not backlit. Can't see when the lights are out. That's fine, but it'll show the temperature. It'll show the humidity. That's all you need. And now, because of this backlight, the thing, and the type of display, the thing is utterly useless. So this is going to get hidden in, you know, one of those eaves somewhere, and be forgotten about for like 20 more years, and then, if I ever remember, we could see if it works again. Anyway, that's it. The Discovery Channel Store WeatherTech TX 4000C temperature and humidity indoor outdoor can, can they ever come up with names for this stuff because by the time you get done saying all the stuff that it does and is it's it's like the the name is a mile long but it it still sort of kind of almost works a little bit I'm gonna do the right thing and take the batteries out so that doesn't uh, because, you know, you wouldn't want it to not work in the future. I mean, that you know, that would be really bad if that ever happened. You know, wouldn't want it to not work. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> that's it for this. So I'm going to put this thing back together and go hide it somewhere. So I don't have to remember it. It's a shame, because the, the aspirations were there. And when the display worked, because it was like a year or so before we bought the house i was going to put this upstairs in the hallway and yeah we'd have to run on batteries but 
what the hell i mean it's color and it lights up and it'll show the temperature and the humidity and all this great stuff and it's garbage somewhere it does say made in china if that makes you feel any better anyway that's it thanks so much for watching make sure you click like make sure you click subscribe and don't fall for these high priced items that like you know sharper image and stuff they're just gimmicks you can buy it on amazon from china does the same thing a lot cheaper but we didn't have that back in the day so <laughs> this is what you had can't even tell you what it costs but anyway that's it thanks so much i really appreciate your watching and we'll see you next time bye bye